In this video, I'm going to show you the steps if you want to take a negative image or an image from a negative film and convert it into a digital film. Now, I'm going to be using a typical scanner and Penta software, which is open source software, and it's for Windows, Mac, and Linux users. So, this is just software that you can download free and use what you have at home. Now, I will start to, to show you a little bit about what the process is, then I'll start scanning in the background. And while it's scanning, I'll show you a little bit more about what I'll be doing. Now, what I'll be doing is I'll be using the program called Penta, and I'll be using the command called Invert Colors. I will scan it using a digital scanner, and I have an HP OfficeJet Pro 6967 all-in-one printer any typical scanner should work and after you scan it you'll get an image that looks like this so the original negative and then I'll convert it because this is a very old old image convert it to a black and white image now there I do have at the very bottom a website that you can click on to to upload your image it's here and it will convert it to a colored image but it's kind of a washed out color indicating that it is a very old old image so let's go through and look at the process now I'm going to be using a document scanner 42 point Oh, that really doesn't matter. No matter what, if you're using Windows, Linux, or Mac, you'll probably have some sort of scanner software. So let me go ahead and start my scanner software. I got my document scanner already open on the tray at the bottom. There's the HP OfficeJet Pro 6970. I'm going to hit the scan. And while it's starting the scan, because it's very slow, uh, I will be showing you a little bit step by step while it's doing the scanning in the background. So what I'll do is, as you can see here, I hit the open my document scanner. I click the scan button. So it's going through and slowly scanning and try to get the best resolution. I can make it scan quicker, but it won't look as good. So it, it will scan and when it's finished scanning the process, I use my little cropping tool down here and I crop the edges of the images. Then I hit the save button. I save the image in a folder and when I'm finished the uh, it should look like this a typical negative like if you took a film strip to get it developed and they give you back the negatives or in the older days where you took the, those type nowadays we use digital cameras and more likely print out our digital photos ourselves or upload them to the internet now here you can click and I do have links on my website that I go through for those of you that's never heard or used Penta before I go through and explain how to install it like on a Linux system you can click on the links to install it on a Windows system I have the newest version release notes the user guides and I go through on here and I have everything about uh, Penta set up to go through and I explain all the different menus and all the different commands with Penta but if you click the second link on my for Windows Mac or Linux users it will actually take you to the Penta website where you can click the download button and you'll be downloading the newest version Penta 2.02 .02. here's for Linux Windows Mac and you can even install by source code so let me go ahead and, and there's documentations uh, if you got any bug reports uh, questions suggestions their website is awesome it's got a very uh, nice website for documentation installing Penta the user guide so if you've never heard of Penta before it's a great program it's not a re Photoshop replacement but instead of using Photoshop since I'm a Linux users I do have GIMP but I very seldom open GIMP because I use most of my images uh, editing them with Penta. So let me use the cropping tool now since it's finished scanning. I'm going to go to about the edge of the image. I'll hit the save. Document scan. I'll call this negative one. Or negative 001. And I'm saving it as a JPEG image. So I'll put it in the negative film folder. I'll hit save. Now I'm ready to close my document scanner. I've opened the folder here and here is my scanned image so now I'm ready to open it with Penta so I can right click on it open with and I got all my image editors and viewers here so I can click Penta and in a moment it'll open up in Penta the version I'm using is version 2.02 .02, which is the what's currently on the website uh, now one of the things you can do is you can this is what the the scanned image looks like the negative I can go to the adjustments menu and invert the colors. Now when you do, some people may think, well that's nice, that's clear, it's old looking, and they can print it out from there. But Penta has other features that allows you to even make it look better than what you have here. So let me go and say uh, crop. I want to go to crop out my tool. So I can say, let me go first to my cropping tool, or my selection. I want to crop out the, the, the 
black bars that you see around here where you see Kodak safety film I don't want that viewed so I'll go to image crop the selection and now I got most of there's a little bit there so let me go and crop a little bit more pull this in let me go ahead and crop out just and then go to image crop the selection now I've got the borders out now if I go back to adjustments I can go to what's called levels and when I go to levels I can adjust out the different colors if I wanted to uh, which this is not a colored picture but if you had a colored picture you can enhance the reds the blacks or the blues the the uh, greens and all that within there so if you look on my web page I do have all the the steps step by step by cropping it I do have it where you go and uh, use the auto level and that's what I want to do with this black and white so I got to auto level here now with the auto level it kind of levels out the colors or hues within the image and now that's very neat on itself but if I go to effects and go to photo I can go to the sharpen tool and I can sharpen some of this I can gradually increase this to where I don't want to sharpen it anymore it brings out the edges it makes them distinct from the things that are around it. if you look at the poles it's much uh, sharper I don't want to go too much farther because if you go too much farther watch what it does it kind of uh, it makes it stand out too much so you can choose whatever sharpen you have and hit OK now I'm ready to save this file save as where I got negative here I'm just gonna call this 2 and I'll hit save hit OK the quality you can increase the quality I might increase the quality hit OK now I'm ready to close this out now originally I had a, these called negative film I'm gonna close these out and I had black and white where I converted it now these are the ones that I just scanned this is the original scanned image that you saw me do this right here is my negative where I cropped it out and this is the result from it so if you print this out it would be black and white Now I do have links at the bottom and there's ways that you can go to Google or any other search engine and search for black and white to color converters and there's other websites to where if you don't like the website that I provided the link below then uh, you can find other websites to kind of colorize this now within Penta you can actually go and turn this to like sepia or sepia however you pronounce it you can make all kinds of adjustments within Penta so within the effects it's not just the the sharpen effect within Penta there's lots more effects but I just want to show you how you can take a negative image place it on your scanner scan the negative invert the colors and once you do it'll be a kind of a washed out colors you can auto level them and then you can sharpen them to make it from a negative to a black and white or colored image depending upon what type your original negative is hopefully this video has been helpful to you and have a great day